Hey, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about something so many sales professionals and entrepreneurs struggle with, and that is how to stay motivated. I want to give you an alternative to motivation and then give you three strategies that you can implement in your life and in your business as of today. But before we get into that, first things first, make sure you like the video, comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. Engaging with you guys in this community is something I look forward to and that I'm excited to do. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because because there's a lot more content coming your way and that helps me in bringing you this content and I'm sure that it's going to help you in your sales career in your life and in your business. All right, so let's dive right into it. First things first, the reason a lot of sales professionals and entrepreneurs struggle with motivation is because motivation is temporary. It's discipline that's permanent. So of course you're not motivated every day. Of course you're not motivated to go into work every day. Of course you're not motivated to work out every day. Of course you're not constantly 24 seven, 365, motivated, amped up, ready to go. Life plays a factor in this. Your habits outside of your sales career and your business play a factor in this. And just so many other things. We're human beings at the end of the day. And it just makes sense that you're not motivated 24 seven, 365. But what can you do to actually make sure you get everything done? Make sure you hit your priorities and make sure that you're successful every single day in the direction of your goals and your dreams. You can actually implement discipline in order to substitute for temporary motivation because discipline is something that can stay with you. Discipline is a muscle that you can build for the long term and discipline will be there when motivation fades away, when motivation evaporates, when motivation is no longer there in that temporary moment in time discipline will be your friend as the old saying goes discipline equals freedom so for you to actually have freedom in your life for you to actually feel confident for you to actually achieve everything that you set out to achieve it's discipline that you need discipline is the bridge between where you are and where your goals are where you want to be the bridge to get there is discipline so I can't stress this enough. Discipline is what you're looking for. Discipline is what you're looking to build. And discipline is the answer. And one thing I want you to understand here, if motivation is so overrated and discipline is so underrated, which it is, that's just the reality of how it is in today's world, then you having discipline, you understanding this, internalizing it, and then actually implementing it into your life and into your business, imagine the unfair advantage that's going to give you. Imagine what that's going to do for you in your life and in your business. Just you knowing this, you internalizing this and you having this unfair advantage of building discipline because it's so underrated and so many other people don't have it. If you just have this one thing, you're already so far ahead. So by now you're probably asking, okay, I got it, but how do I actually build discipline? How do I go about developing this skill? How do I go about becoming a disciplined person? So I want to give you three strategies that have helped me throughout the years and have helped me build discipline and actually stick it out when I've been committing myself to a goal or to a bigger vision. And I'm sure these strategies are going to help you as well. And I want you to not only listen to these strategies and take notes and learn them, but I want you to actually implement them as of today. Nothing is going to change if you don't change. If you don't execute on these ideas, on these strategies that I'm going to give you, nothing will change for you. By you simply understanding this, that's not enough. What you actually need to do is put these things into action and execute on them. So the one commitment I want you to make to me right now is that you're going to actually implement these things and execute on them as of today. So that being said, strategy number one is to have a clear vision, have a clear vision of where you're going with your future, have clear goals that you want to accomplish, know exactly where you want to be in the next three, six, 12 months, in the next three years, in the next five years, and in the next seven years, and probably have a rough idea of what you want your life to look like in the next 10 years, because every single thing that you do today has to map to that, has to actually lead to that. You need to have a reason. You need to have an end goal. You need to have a clear end picture in order for you to work towards it. It's like those puzzles that everybody loves. They give you a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So you have a clear vision of what the end picture is supposed to look like. And then you start to do the daily work and putting the pieces together because you know what you're working towards. You know what you're looking forward to. You know what the end vision is. You know what the end picture looks like. And you need to do the same thing with your own life. Have clear visions and goals and targets for your future. And then you can actually start to go into the next strategies and have discipline that's lasting. And it's not for a day or two days or a week or a month like you've probably experienced before but to have lasting discipline 
You need to be working towards a clear vision, clear goals, clear targets. Strategy number two is having three to five micro habits. Now that you know your goals, now that you know where you want to go and you have a clear vision of the future, what are three to five micro habits that you can do on a daily basis that are going to lead to that goal? What are those three to five actions that if you just do consistently on a daily basis, every single day, are going to guarantee that you achieve that goal, that vision that you have for your future. Because that's what success is. Success is just doing the right things step by step, 1% at a time in the right direction. And failure is the exact opposite of that. Failure is doing the wrong things in the wrong direction, one day at a time, 1% at a time, and it all compounds. So which way do you want it to go? Do you want it to compound in the positive direction towards your goals? Or do you want your bad habits to compound in the negative direction towards the future that you don't want? So figure out what that is for you. Three to five micro daily habits that you're going to implement as of today. And you're going to track every single day to make sure you hit those habits. And you do those three to five micro actions that are going to, in the long run, in the one, two, three, five, seven years, lead to the goals that you have. And strategy number three is accountability. It's having somebody to hold you accountable. This is why I'm such a believer in mentors and in having coaches or a mentor figure actually help you with your goals, hold you accountable, know about your goals and know what the deadlines and the time frames are so that they can actually hold you to your word. Because initially, you're not going to have discipline. Initially, it's going to be hard. Initially, you're going to want to give up. Those things will happen. I can tell you that right now. Let me just save you the time and the pain of going through it and tell you just right here, right now. Now, you're going to have those moments where nothing will make sense. You'll want to give up. You won't be on the right path. You're going to face challenges, barriers, obstacles. That's all fine. That's all going to happen. The problem is if you don't have a mentor, a coach, somebody to hold you accountable, you're not going to continue doing what you want to do. You're not going to continue long enough for those micro habits and those actions to become discipline, to become second nature to you. Whereas now you don't need somebody to hold you accountable to those actions you can do this on your own and you continue to do the right things in the right direction because you've built up that discipline now. You've built up that muscle now. Now, that being said, you still want to have mentors for bigger picture goals, for your next steps. You should always have somebody mentoring you and coaching you who's ahead of you in the game so they can teach you their mistakes, so they can show you the ways from all their years of experience and you can save yourself time and you know all this trouble of going through the same mistakes that they've made. So you want to learn from mentors. You always want to have mentors for bigger picture things. Initially, before you build that discipline, you're going to need the mentorship or the coaching or somebody to hold you accountable. And if you don't have a mentor or a coach at this moment in time, and I want you to start this immediately, go to your partner, go to somebody in your family, go to a sibling, go to a really close friend who you trust, who actually cares about you and tell them as of this moment on, these are the three to five things I want to do. I want you to hold me accountable to these things. I want you to actually check in on me and I want you to call me out and there has to be consequences if you don't actually hit those targets and actions and there can be rewards as well to reward yourself for doing the right things and that's what you need. I can't stress this enough. Accountability. You need accountability. You need to have mentors. You need to have coaches. You need to have somebody holding you accountable until you built the right disciplines, until it becomes second nature to you. This is going to be a game changer for you. And if you don't do this, I'm telling you, you're selling yourself short and you're missing out on what your future potential could be. So there you have it. That's my message for today. Staying motivated is not about having temporary motivation, but it's about building discipline for the long term. And discipline always trumps motivation. Discipline beats motivation every single time. So you don't want to be motivated. You want to be disciplined and I hope that you apply these strategies to actually build discipline in your life one step at a time, one day at a time. And sure enough, you'll be there one day where you feel proud of yourself. You feel proud of your disciplines and you feel confident with where you're going in life, with your vision of the future and with your goals. And my wish for you is that you apply these things as of today and start to get results immediately. All that said, I hope you got some value out of it. Make sure to comment your thoughts below. Again, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a lot more content coming your way. And thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next video.